Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be another writ dye video. And I did one, I think a couple years ago on a wig. And this time I wanna try it on a fur coat. So we are going to dye this coat today and we're gonna dye it neon green. This is gonna be so cool. And I'm really stoked because this is literally a blank canvas. So I really think that it is gonna be an actual neon green. So I have been wanting a neon green coat for a while. So I thought, why not just get this fur coat that I've had sitting in my closet for a couple years now. And I got it for a really good price. And I mean, it's not an actual fur coat. It's more like a fleece type. It's so warm and so comfy. So I'm curious how this is gonna turn out. So it's kind of an experiment for me as well. So we'll see if this works. I hope it does. Um, I got two bottles of it because it is recommended if you have something like a coat that you're dying to get two bottles so i hope this is enough so i'm just gonna take you guys with me we're gonna try this out i'm gonna tell you all the things that i'm gonna do um it's not that hard it just takes a lot of time to do it so let's get started okay so i'm here in my kitchen and i just realized on the writ dye bottle that it says not recommended for synthetic fibers fabrics containing more than 35 percent polyester instead use the dye more synthetic fiber dye this is the all-purpose dye um i forgot that they had different kinds to be honest i was kind of in a hurry when i picked this up so um i hope this works <laughs> This will really be an experiment to see if it works. Um, I'm a little nervous because this is 100% polyester, of course. I don't know, I'm gonna try it though. I, you know, I've already bought this. I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna be out a lot of money if I do it. So let's give it a shot. Maybe they, I don't know why it's like that. I, I mean, it's dye, it should work, right? So for this video, I got a big tub to put the coat in and it should fit perfectly. I also forgot to get like a wooden spoon to stir it around with. So um, I don't know what I'm going to use for that yet, but I think it has to be stirred like every 30 minutes. And of course you'll need gloves. That's very important. And I have a nice little bag right here to protect my countertop. So you can use bag, trash bag, uh, shower curtain, tablecloth. Uh, just make sure you protect your countertops just in case anything happens. Then you will need really hot water it doesn't have to be boiling water it just has to be simmering and i'm probably going to need like two pots of water so that's what we're going to do right now okay so i'm just waiting for that to simmer um just for reference it does say that for every pound of fabric um, example given, two adult large t-shirts use half bottle, four ounces of dye with three gallons of the hottest water safe for fabric. Hopefully this will be fine on fabric. <laughs> I've got two large pots on the stove right now, so I think that's going to be enough. I just really need it to fill this tub up right here. I think that's going to be the right amount, so we'll see. Now i got to wait forever for this to simmer because it's... It's a big pot of water. Um, they both are really big pots of water, so it's gonna take a minute. Okay, so I ended up using like three pots of boiling water, which is insane. So I had to keep this covered while I was boiling the other two because the other one wasn't boiling when the other one was. So we're gonna do this quick. I'm going to put this coat in. I hope this is enough water because, uh, uh, okay, 
I think it's gonna be enough, like barely, but I'll move you guys closer. You can see it's like not quite submerged. So I may need to do another pot of water. I am going to go ahead and add the color though because we are losing time on this because the water is getting cooler. Um, and then I'll add more after I put my dye in. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. And I'm hoping that I covered everything because it's a lot like hair dye. And you know, if you miss a spot, you know, it just messes up the whole dye job. So I'm just gonna keep stirring it and I've kind of just been moving it around. Even though it's very hot, I probably shouldn't be touching it. I do think the water is hot enough. Um, and there actually might be enough water, which is great. I love this color so far. Um, I hope that it looks just like this when it dries. So I'm just kind of stirring it around, pushing on it, making sure it's all even. Just kind of checking to see if there's any white. Um, just make sure you're very careful, guys. It's extremely hot. Um, and this dye will stain your clothes or your countertops. So just be careful with that. I think I got it all covered. I just need to add this last pot of water. And I think that that's going to make a huge difference because it will submerge it in all the color, so. Last pot of water that I am adding. Oh shoot, what just happened? Okay guys, the weirdest thing just happened. So when I poured the last pot of water in, it turned some of it white. So I'm stirring it around and I think it's fine. Um, I don't know if it was just like the temperature but it was so bizarre. I don't know if you guys saw it in the clip. I'm gonna just keep stirring it around um, cause it says to do it for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, now that I am done stirring it, I'm gonna wait an hour because you can wait up to an hour for the desired color. And I think that's gonna be a good time for this since it is such a large item. Um, so we'll be back in an hour and see how it looks. This is what it looks like over an hour later. So it looks like it's all even to me. I don't know about underneath, but last time I checked, it looked really good. So, so the next step we have to do is rinse with cool water until rinse water begins to run clear. So what I'm gonna do for this next part, I'm going to dump this water out. I'm probably gonna dump this water outside because I'm I don't think it will well I think I can do the sink I think it'll be fine it's stainless steel um, my sink is but if you don't have a stainless steel sink um, I wouldn't do that so I'm going to drain this water out and then we'll rinse it with some cool water and see how it looks Okay, you guys, so I'm kind of at a loss because I've been squeezing this forever. It's getting light. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot darker, but it, it's still really pretty. I like the color, but the color just keeps coming out the more I squeeze it and it still looks the same, but it's just, I can't get this to run clear. Like it's, it's taking me forever. So I think, I am going to go ahead and run this in the washer. I hope that that is not a bad idea. I'm just gonna run it by itself in cold water, I think. And maybe we'll see what happens. I don't know if this is a good idea, y'all. But um, it does have to be washed regardless. And I'm not gonna put any detergent in it because I don't know how that's gonna react to it. Um, so I'm just gonna wash it in cold water, delicate cycle, 
and I think we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna try to wring this out as best as I can and then I'm gonna stick it in there and we'll see what it looks like after. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, I wanna stop this video for a second. Um, I think I'm actually going to add some detergent because I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna add just a little bit because I'm gonna to have to clean it anyways and I really don't wanna wash it like twice in a delicate cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of detergent and we'll see if that makes a difference or not. Okay, it's done. I'm really scared to see how it looks. I hope that it is still green, a beautiful neon green. So, let's look. So once again, another failed DIY video. Do you guys see this? Not neon green. I don't know if it was the detergent. I don't know um, what it was. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. There's so many tutorials out there and just like, it's not really clear to me how to actually do the writ dye. And I've done a wig before, um, but this did not, this did not get the desired color. I mean, it is not neon green, right? Am I crazy? I mean, it's not even like the color of my hair. So I'm probably gonna sell this on my Poshmark. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here is the final results of the Rit Dye coat. Extremely disappointing. Um, it's not green at all. It's just a mint color and it's almost dry. Like it, it doesn't take much for this to dry. Um, it did get all of it. I mean, there's really no spots. There might be a few places, but I mean, it's a pretty color, but it's not what I was going for. And I don't really know what I did wrong. I mean, I followed instructions that I found on Pinterest and online. Like I've Googled so many things and the Rit Dye website, you know, there's so many different things on there and it's really hard to determine like what is best for this fabric. I probably should have gotten the fabric dye. That's probably what it was if I had to guess. It just did not get the desired color. And this happened to me too with the wig. So I don't know y'all, I'm just, I'm so disappointed. Like if you're watching this and you expected a different result, I am so sorry. <laughs> I mean, the dye stayed, it's just, it's not the right color. And I don't know, like, I thought that two bottles would be enough. Like it should have been plenty. Don't like it at all. I don't need a mint green coat. I need a lime green coat. I'm just gonna have a good attitude about it and realize that these things happen. And even though it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, the method I guess still works. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today and doing this and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it at least. I'm sorry if it's not super helpful. Uh, maybe you can get some tips and tricks from it. Let's just go ahead and take this off because I'm just not a fan. Here's Jack. He's been helping me with this all day. You want to say bye to everyone? You want to say bye? Oh, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and Jack and I will see you guys next time.